Hey guys, I'm here with this guy I found on Craigslist. His name is Craig because he's from Craigslist. My viewer sent me some Google Slides. The first one is called Why I Love McDonald's. The title of the slide is Why I Love McDonald's and it's by John. What are your thoughts on this, Craig? I love McDonald's. The ancient food. Since I can remember, the food is always cold and soggy. It probably comes from rat meat from under the greasy deep fryers, or it's small shipments of little kids that are put through some machine. My last Big Mac was made for my sister. It was delicious. I think he has some uh, family problems, actually. Not anymore. The artifacts are some of the most special parts. They are very delicate, but usually worth a lot of money. I want to say at least $1.50. I can't believe how expensive they are. The little Chinese kids work hard, but the quality isn't there. I feel bad for him. Putin's really got them little Chinese kids working though. The Chinese kids that work for me work well. They make really high quality items. If you go on to www.fincorp.com you can get stuff like that it's just the quality is just insane fincorp.com is actually a, a shady loan agency so i wouldn't go there but if you go to fincorp.shop if you go to fincorp.shop that's where the uh that's where the merch is it's at fincorp.shop is where it is fincorp that's that's f-i-n-c-o-r-p uh point dot period s-h-o-p shop fincorp Fincorp.shop is where that is, where you uh, buy that. It is their quality, trust me. It is their quality. This quality isn't there. The workers. The workers are interesting. They are either very nice or very meanies. Usually they will be in a pissy mood over the phone, then super nice at the window, or they will call you racial slurs. I've met a lot of people at McDonald's like that, really. You'll have some where it's like, How's your day going, sir? So, you want a Big Mac meal? A large Sprite? Okay, have a great day. I'll see you at the second window. And then you get there and it's like ponytails and stuff. Or you'll have like um, other ones that just meanies. That's all John gave us. Good job, John. Yeah, good that job, was... John. We, we love that. I give this presentation a solid 8 out of 10. I give it like a 6.9 out of 10. 100% on every day. Next, we have Greek Mythology by Brent. Mecca. In ancient Mecca, a little man named Hasbula was born. He's actually very tall. I've met him in person. He's almost as tall as that mountain. There's like a mountain in the back in that picture and he's taller than it. Where I'm thrown off a little bit, it says Greek mythology, but Mecca is in Italy and not Greek. Brent might've got a little bit confused, it's okay. Hasbula is a good fighter. You can see he won the MMA here and he's wearing a snakeskin hat with his friend, this is his friend George. That's actually Obama. Oh, I didn't recognize him. The picture quality is a little bit iffy. Everybody, everybody misunderstands it. Yeah, no, now that I look closer, it definitely is Obama. Death date, he's not dead yet. I really like the author's use of suspense here and this scary guy i do recall a few videos ago of you reviewing his tasty products um oh wow that one's the worst oh <coughs> oh my god they just keep getting worse that's mr beast what is it now i know it's pride month and all but i'm not sure if brent got the idea of pronouns quite right i got this one i got this one okay is he hot. Now, judged by that picture, you know, he must have that like 24 karat gold all around that. That has to be about like five foot in diameter because Hasbulla is just so tall. So, yes, obviously. That smile just warms my heart. It just makes me feel good about humankind. What? And the little hat. Mm. He's over 18, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is. He's actually, actually, hold on. Wait, let me look this up. Don't be fooled by the baby face Hezbollah is actually 20 years old, but suffers from dwarfism, giving him a childlike appearance and voice due to his stunted growth. Chicken. Better if fried. Yes. Walmart. It is big. You know what they say? Big Walmart. Salad tastes like shit. I agree. Gods of Greece. Small man. I agree. He is a very, in fact, um, hairy small man. There's nothing for reference. If there's like a banana here, I'd be able to tell, but I can't tell what size he is. I have a sneakily feeling that Brent, I have a feeling that he searched up in the olden times <laughs> and that popped up by chance. Gods of Greece. Also, tall man is very tall. 
He is not a king, he is not a god, but he is the one who knocks. He shall knock on thou dorsis, in sis, this is citysis of sis, special sis kids. I don't know what Brent was going for here, but it keeps with the theme. Me neither. I'm excited to see the next slide though, for sure. He doesn't even have Down syndrome. Wait, he doesn't? I thought he had Down syndrome. Stephen Hawking is a true OG. I deck if he has Down syndrome. He might just be, well, that's it.